Hey everyone, this is Ezra from Nextgen Studios, and today I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial on how to make um, wires uh, like this. Um, these can be found on Optic Predator's background. Um, you know, a lot of you will have heard of him, unless you don't game at all. And uh, this is just how you create them. So let's get started. I'm going to delete these first two layers. I'm going to create a new layer. And you can use a document of any size. And I'm just going to select my brush tool first, make sure I have the right presets. Yes, I do. And what you're going to do for this is go to your brush tool, make your size 12 pixels with this default brush right here, and make the hardness 100%. I'm going to choose the pen tool. Um, like that. And then we're just going to make some lines, like so. I'm going to right click, stroke path, brush as the tool, simulate pressure, unchecked, and click on OK. Just like that. And then I'm going to delete path. And there it is, our, our wire. We made it together as a team. It's our wire. Uh, anyway. Um, we're just going to double click to bring up layer style and we're going to select stroke first uh, stroke size of 3 pixels we'll have to leave the rest as default and the color as black and then we're going to choose bevel and emboss um, we're going to leave the structure area as default um, so you know inner bevel smooth 100% 5 0 you know and then shading um, 120 um, degrees for the angle and 30 degrees for the altitude and we're going to leave the rest of that default then under the bevel and emboss panel here we're going to click texture and I'm just going to be using this default texture you can use um, custom textures custom textures as well but um, some of you might not have that. I've got a few custom patterns. I mean, not textures. I've got a few custom patterns. Um, I could use those, but um, you know, this one's default, so I'm just going to be using this, so you guys can see uh, what the outcome, what the outcome will be like if you use this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the scale to 10%, and that's it. That was the first thing and last thing that I had to do. So. There it is, our black wire. Okay, click on OK. Minimize that now. I'm going to create a new layer, and this time we're going to be making a red one. And so we're just going to. Whoops. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm just going to put it like that. And then with this one, we can right click, stroke path, OK. Right click, delete path. And then instead of going through all of these options again and putting them all in again, I'm just going to hold Alt, click on this FX symbol here, and drag it onto layer 2. Like that. And as you can see, layer 2 becomes like layer 1. Except we want to be making this red. So we're going to add a color overlay. And I'm just going to make it a dark red. And that's it, guys. That's how you make... Why is like that? Similar to Optic Predators. Um, you can make this any color you like. Green, maybe. Takes your fancy. You can make it green. And you know what? I feel in a Christmas mood today, so I'm going to make it green and red. Christmas all around. Yay. Just like that. Okie dokie. So this guys has been this has been uh <clears throat> this has been Ezra for uh Next Gen Studios. I hope you have enjoyed my second tutorial. Um and this was a tutorial on how to make wires like this. Um so I'm just gonna end it. This has been Ezra from Next Gen Studios. Goodbye.